At the start of the biopsy, the doctor does a regular ultrasound. He ultrasounds the kidney to find the spot in which he's going to go in. So while ultrasounding, he uses a cap of a Sharpie pen to make a little indentation. Then he uses the actual Sharpie marker to mark off the spot. There's no needles or anything at this time. It's just to look, prep, and mark off the area that he's going to go into. Usually he talks, my doctor at least talks to me so that he calms me down because I'm a little anxious at this point. Um, It is an uncomfortable spot to be poked at. And he is really good about just talking to me about my job, my like my career, my goals, things like that. So it takes my mind off of what he's doing. He, however, he does tell me every step that he's taking. So there's never a moment that you don't know what's going on. They walk you through it. They tell you what's happening, um, and they ease your anxiety if you have any. Then he preps himself and the area for the biopsy. So once he's marked off the area he's going to go in. He starts to get himself ready with his sterile gloves, sterile instruments, and make sure that the area is sterile. So he wipes it down, and then he also covers it with a, a covering so that no nothing else, bacteria and stuff, doesn't have access to it. Um, usually, sometimes at least, I've been told to wear a mask, sometimes not, but just so that, like, if I'm talking or breathing, it's not going towards that area. They really want it to be sterile. So he's just wiping down the area. Then he's going to put on the drape, the covering, so that he can work. There's a hole in the covering that he's going to place directly over the area that he marked so he can just go in that area. After the area is prepped, covered, and ready to go, the doctor then applies the lidocaine. So he will shoot you with lidocaine. Um, For me, it takes a little more, so I usually get more than one shot of the lidocaine. The lidocaine stings and burns. It is very, very uncomfortable. It's quick, but it is painful. So when the needle goes in, you feel that, and then you feel when the solution is being injected because it's burning and tingling and and everything and it's if you've ever had stitches it's the same they use the lidocaine first and you feel all that and then it goes numb and you don't feel anything so the good part about it is once the lidocaine is in you will not feel the biopsy part you will not feel the needle go you should not feel the needle go in you should not feel when the piece is extracted you just can see it So the lidocaine is the worst part. You can see by my face, you can tell by my face that it's painful. It is very painful. The area is tender um, and you feel everything. So it is painful. I had to breathe through it. But once the lidocaine is in, as I said, smooth sailing after that. As I said, in my case, the doctor usually gives me more than one shot of the lidocaine. This is let him letting it sit a little bit to see if he needs to give me another shot of it. And we did need another shot of it. So he's going to inject more lidocaine in before we start the actual process of the biopsy. You can tell when we start the actual process of the biopsy because the needle looks like a big device. It's a, it looks like a big device attached to a needle. Um, the lidocaine is just a regular injection. It looks like a flu shot or any other little injection. The actual biopsy needle is large and long. This is very different and you can tell the difference. And the doctor, as I said, walks you through everything. So they tell you when they're injecting you with lidocaine. They tell you when they're giving you a break for the lidocaine to settle in. They tell you when they're going to go in again. They tell you every single detail. It's very helpful for me because I like to know what's going on. I even like to watch because I like to see when the needle is 
penetrating my skin. It's not an element of surprise. I don't know how people close their eyes. I have to watch um, because it just helps me prepare for the pain. So I always watch when I'm being stuck. And right now, the doctor is preparing to do the biopsy. He's put enough lidocaine in there and he's just using that covering as a surface to hold supplies and make sure um, he has everything prepped and ready. Before he goes in with the biopsy needle, what he just did there was he took a, a little tool to cut a small incision. So he cuts a small incision where the biopsy needle is going to go in. It just gives it more room to go in. So he took that scalpel and cut a small incision into the area he was going to biopsy. He's now going in with another set of the lidocaine because I expressed that I felt when he made the incision. Um, As I said again, I need a little more lidocaine because I've had a lot of procedures so my body is very used to the numbing agent. So I need a little bit more than other people. But he did go in another time with more lidocaine. Um, Once you've had the first set of lidocaine, it does get a little easier because some of it is numb. You're not feeling necessarily the needle going in anymore. You might feel the medicine because it's it's being injected deeper. And when he is putting the lidocaine in, he's going deep because the biopsy needle needs to go deep. So the lidocaine is actually not surface level. It's going deep um, because he wants to make sure that he numbs that area up before he goes in with the biopsy needle. So right now he's giving me a little bit more lidocaine. As you can see, he's putting it in there and injecting it in. I'm not feeling all of that. It looks like he's poking and prodding around. I'm not feeling everything because I do have some lidocaine in already. Um, but I do have to tell him. So I'm communicating with him to tell him whether I could feel it or not. And, and he's asking me questions. That's what you see is going on right there. So he's just prepared the biopsy needle, and that's what you see, that white thing with the needle sticking out. That is the biopsy needle that goes into your abdomen to take a piece of the kidney. So the doctor tells you he's about to insert, and you're going to, he's going to get to a certain point, and you're going to hear some clicks and a pop. And that is when they're extracting the piece. It doesn't hurt, but you do feel pressure. Um, you're numb, so it doesn't hurt, but you feel the pressure because the, for some reason, the needle does some, something before extracting the piece that causes pressure. So they tell you you're going to feel pressure. They count to three before, at least my doctor does. He says, okay, now one, two, three, pop. And when, you, when he does the pop, so you see him about to press the button, that's the pop. So when he presses it, you feel like pressure. You hear the pop, but you feel pressure. So it's best to hold still, don't jump. They talk you through it, but you will feel the pressure of it. You won't feel pain, just pressure. And you'll hear pop or click, whichever it sounds in your, it sounds like a popping clicking to me both. So you will hear that, you will, but, but right now you see the needles going fairly deep. I can't feel it because he's numbed that whole area. He went very deep with the lidocaine, made sure everything was numb. So you could see my face, I'm very focused, but he is trying to get in there and he's watching the biopsy machine. And that's why it's called a guided kidney biopsy because he's biopsying, wow, Oop, you probably saw it right there. That's when he did the pop. I didn't feel it, but I got startled because of the sound. Now, 
he's watching the screen because he can see where the needle he can see the needle he can see what what's happening in it because he's also biopsying he's using the, the biopsy machine i apologize he's using the ultrasound machine to watch what he's biopsying so once they've extracted the piece they take it look at it to make sure it's what they need, the amount they need, the size they need, all of that. Um, and if it's not, they will do one more. And if it is, you're good to go. You don't have, they can start to wrap it up. Um, the reason why you saw the blood pressure machine is you are, you do have a blood pressure cuff on the whole time. They are monitoring your blood pressure because it is a procedure. Um, and it's just a local anesthetic, but they still have to monitor your blood pressure to make sure it doesn't go too low, too high, anything like that. So you are every so often, I can't tell you the time frame. To me, it feels, feels like every five minutes, the blood pressure machine goes off and they take your blood pressure. Um, my doctor is very jovial. I really like him. And that's why I'm smiling so much. <laughs> um, he's making jokes and just he really tries to take your mind off of it. So if you are anxious or nervous about the procedure, if you have a good rapport with your doctor, ask them to speak to you the whole time. It really helps. Um, So after, after he made sure he got a good piece, he did one more little ultrasound of the area to make sure there was no internal bleeding. And then he is going to start to clean it up and wrap it up. So he cleans the area. Um, there is going to be some bleeding. It's a needle. Their biggest concern is internal bleeding. So they give you a whole bunch of rules and regulations. They put a regular Band-Aid on top of the incision site. And then they use a skin tape, tape for your skin. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's referred to as, but it's heavy duty and it's pretty large and tough. Um, and it takes two people because they wrap it around you. So if it's not too much bleeding, sometimes they'll just wrap it from one side of your one side of you to the other side so the whole front of your abdomen is covered uh the very first kidney biopsy i got they wrapped my whole abdomen so they wrapped around from my stomach to my back so as i mentioned they place a band-aid burst down which they did already now they're placing gauze down because in case it bleeds through the gauze they're placing gauze down um they have to apply pressure so it does it's a little tender um you're still numb but it's a little tender and so they're applying the gauze and the gauze also helps so that it doesn't st stick so much because the tape that they're going to wrap you in is really really sticky and here comes the tape <laughs> 